Back again with another episode of Ways to Ride. We are cruising the 59 rack this morning. It's a Sunday. We're heading to my boy Alan's place. We're gonna go check out his car. It's a lowrider again, but I felt like he had to be in the first episode. So uh, let's head out that way and see what he got going on. Man, already giving it some shine, huh? How you doing, yeah. man? You're good. Gotta keep it clean. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, why don't you present yourself a little? How you started and all that? Um, name is Alan, vice president of Exclusive Lowrider Club out in Belgium. Uh, basically, everything started with lowrider bicycles when we were kids. Yeah. Then we moved on to cars. Um, and I got this one as a daily driver in the beginning. getting bad after a couple of years she really got like in worse condition and um, had to put her to the side got another daily and started building this one making her into a clean lowrider When I met Alan, he already had this car actually, so basically I always knew him with this car. So why don't you tell a little about the car, how you got it and... So one of the first things that had to be done was uh, the paintwork and bodywork. Because because of all the daily use, she started rusting here and there. And um, yeah, the paint was faded and I just needed to have it fresh again. So the color that was put on is called bluish purple. and. Yeah, it is nor blue nor purple. <laughs> um, the pinstripes I did myself. So basically I just did um, an original style double, double line with some details to give it an extra touch, but not have uh, an overload of pinstripes on the car. And when you look at the car from a distance, every panel has a, a frame around it that I did with the pinstripes with feather, uh, feather type shapes. Other than that, exterior wise it has some custom touches like the TV antennas, the original uh, opera lights that work, the, um, the curb peelers up front to protect the wheels. And talking about wheels, I had to put on some true classics, 14 inch because the car is too big and heavy for 13s. So we went with the 14 True Classics, just a pinstripe center pads. On the front of the car, I wanted to give it an old school Cadillac touch with that 70s pimp vibe. So I put on a uh, 1930 Flying Goddess hood emblem off of a Cadillac that's been restored and rechromed as well as the custom exclusive flag up front on the nose of the car. Originally the car had all uh, black bumper impact strips, which was mandatory back in the day, but they look ugly. So I built some custom aluminum hand shaped and hand polished bumper impact strips front and back so that the car looks a lot cleaner and has some more chrome to it. 
Another custom touch, which you'll only notice if you really know your Cadillacs, is the mirrors. They come off, uh, off of a um, 1980 Coupe de Ville. So they're the power assisted remote control mirrors with the uh, illuminated temperature gauge outside. So the car originally had the blue crust velour uh, Brom de Elegance interior, which was in good condition and looked pretty okay. But for these types of Cadillacs, the dream interior is a talisman interior, which is a limited option. They only made in 74, 5 and 6, and only 74 was a four-seater. So also had a center console in the back. And a good friend of mine had a 74 talisman as a project car. And the car was shot, but the interior was in perfect condition. And I always wanted to buy that interior off of him but he would never let it go. And unfortunately he passed away. And after he passed away, I basically inherited the interior. So I took it out and put it in my 73 Brome. So this is what you see. So since this originally was a, uh, a Brome de Elegance, it had all the options available, like cruise control, automatic climate control, um, power antenna, rear defog, remote control mirrors, automatic headlights and, and high beams. Some of the original interior parts I reupholstered in the blue velour as well to make it match with the rest of the interior because I didn't like the the original plastic parts. The switch plate was added. I got four switches and a uh, main on off button because with those four switches it's a two pump setup. Four dumps you can do everything. The color bar I also had to put in so when you're listening to the music you can see the, the sound of the music through the color bar and for night cruising, I put in some blue uh, original neon lights under the dash to give that extra, extra touch. One of the coolest options on the talisman interior is in the front center console. There's a writing pad illuminated with two Cadillac pens. Show us what you got in the trunk, man. So setup wise, I just wanted to uh, have a nice lay in place setup with a smooth ride. So I put in a uh, two pump setup with four dumps, uh, four accumulators for the smooth ride, and 36 volts, which is more than enough to just lay and play with the car as it's a heavy one. Some features Alan got going on is instead of a switch panel, he has this Nintendo game controller that you can just plug in and you can just play with the car. One of the good memories I got about this car, man, we went a lot of places with this. Yeah, one. we went a lot of places. Well, besides using it as a daily, then I just rolled it everywhere because it was just a daily driver. But um, after it, it, uh, I turned into a lowrider, we went to Paris, Amsterdam, all around Belgium. I basically drive it as a daily driver, just not every day. <laughs> That's about it. Other than that, you get in, you fire it up and you roll because she'll go everywhere every single time. It's Never a, miss a beat. It's a Cadillac, yeah. yeah. I mean, why don't we take it for a spin, man? <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go, man.
thing about this car is so smooth. I mean, when people think about lowriders, they think it's bouncy and you're all over the place. But with this one, man, it's, it's crazy, right? Yeah, if you put the back on accumulators, that gives you like 70% of the comfort that you need. Up front, I usually keep the accumulators closed, so you still have that bouncy movement. Yeah, but that, that if you get the right spring right. rate, yeah, then it just rolls smooth. Yeah. And if you really want like an original or, or even better than original ride, you just put on the accumulators up front as well and you're driving on the carpet the yeah. way it should be because it's a Cadillac. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, it drives so good that sometimes you forget you in a low low, man. Yeah. And then you hit the switch. Oh, right, I got switches. That's right. <laughs> enjoyed it too yes sir all right guys so that was it for this episode i hope you guys come back for more because we will be doing more footage and different cars too so yeah thanks for watching like subscribe share do what you gotta do and i'll see you next time